Looking at, you guys will notice there's a lot of patterns that you're going to see in the problems, and it really comes into practicing problems over and over and over, and that's what we'll um, kind of provide you guys a little bit extra today on. So again here, we notice we have the product rule, just like the one we last did. It's the product and then the chain rule inside of it. So I'll take the derivative of the first one. You can see my parent, parent function would be x to the 1 half, which is the same thing as square root of x. Inside function is 6x plus 7. So bring down the 1 half, take 6x plus 7. Subtract 1, 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 6, times the second function, 8x minus 1 raised to the 3 halves, plus the first function, 6x plus 7 to the 1 half, times the derivative of the second problem, which is brings down the 3 halves, times 8x minus 1, um, minus 1 is really the same thing as 2 over 2, right? So that's really positive 1 half times the derivative of the inside, which is 8. Okay. Now again, to simplify this correctly, I would recommend um, doing is, again, simplifying this and then rewriting them as fractional terms. So we notice a couple things here. The 2 and the 3, or 2 and the 6, goes to a 3. right? This is going to go in the denominator. This will stay up top. So we're left with a 3 times 8x minus 1 raised to the 3 halves divided by 6x plus 7 to the positive 1 half, because when I put it in the denominator, I turn it to positive. Does everybody follow me on simplifying the first side? Does anything not make sense? Or anybody want me to re-explain? Everybody's OK. Um, we look over here, and we know that 2 divides into 8 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. These do not have the same base, so I can't multiply them. Right? Remember, like rules of exponents, x squared times x cubed is x to the fifth. You add the powers. Well, here, they're not the same base, so you can't do that. But we can do 3 times 4. What am I doing? Plus. So that's going to be 12, 6x plus 7 to the 1 half times 8x minus 1 to the 1 half, all over 1. Well, we can't combine like terms here unless they have the same denominator. But finding the common denominator is relatively simple. 6x plus 7 raised to the 1 half. Right, so we multiply that on both sides. And then now, here, we can multiply these and add the powers, correct? Because those are the same base. So nothing has really changed over here. 3 times 8x minus 1 to the 3 halves. Actually, I'm going to combine all my like terms here. Plus, still have a 12. This now becomes 6x plus 7 to the 1 half plus 1 half, which is just first power, but it's still inside parentheses, times 8x minus 1 to the 1 half, all over my common denominator of 6x plus 7 raised to the 1 half. Now, you could like distribute that. I'm not really sure if that's going to be simplifying anything. Um, so you know, another thing we could do is look into factoring out a uh, 3, as well as an 8x to the 1 half. Yes? Where are you looking here? I multiplied them. Yeah, it's 3 halves times 8 over 1. So 8 times 3 is 20. Uh, 8 times, oh wait, yeah, it's 12. 8 times 3 is 24, divided by 2 is 12. Or you just take the denominator, divide into the numerator, which is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So, yes? Yeah, I mean, well, I remember if you have like 3 times 4 times 5, you just multiply like, you know, it doesn't matter which ones you multiply, you're just multiplying across, right? So it's not like distributive property because, yeah, if you had, pre if you had addition, then you'd have to multiply to everything. But we don't have addition, we just have multiplication. Everything is being separated by multiplication. So we just need to, so the only terms that we can simplify by multiplication 
is these two. So we just multiply them. Does that make sense? Any other questions? All right. So now let's factor out this term, because this might be something you guys would see. We know that the 3 is in common, so we can take that out. We also know that there's this 8x minus 1 to the 1 half power that we can take out. <clears throat> now, this might be a little confusing. You like say, well, what would I multiply 1 half times to get to 3 halves? Just think of multiplying. What do you need to multiply by 1 half by to get to 3 halves? 3. So this would be 8x minus 1 cubed plus, if you factor out a 3 from here, you'd get 4 times uh, 6x plus 7 times, oh, that got factored out. 8x minus 1 got factored out. And then all over 6x plus 7 raised to the 1 half. And then, again, you could simplify that, or it would just leave it as is. But I'm not too concerned about you guys figuring out what that would be simplified.